Hello, and welcome to the release of Balif's second generation pressure sensors. These pressure sensors are used in a number of markets, including mobility, packaging food and beverage, metalworking, metallurgy, plastics and rubber, general fluid and drives, and also general factory automation. Various applications include hydraulic systems, pneumatic systems, uh, clamping. Uh, these sensors can also be used for vacuum, level detection, and also leakage detection. Some of the main technical features is there are two adjustable set and reset points for discrete outputs. There's also additional condition monitoring built into the sensor. The display has been improved, better visibility, additional indicators, and also the sensors are now available either in IP67 or IP69K versions. The sensors can be rated from minus one bar up to 600 bar. IO Link is available in all versions of these sensors. Um, with the IO Link enhancements, we had added additional functionality. The sensors are available in a number of configurations. The standard sensor with an orifice for the media detection. We also have a front flush version. These sensors actually have a stainless steel membrane on the bottom of them and inside is a fluid so as the me media presses against that membrane it forces the fluid up into the orifice. And there's also a version over here that is the tri-clamp version. Um, so different mounting version. These are typically used for uh, level detection. The front flush versions are available in either IP67 or IP69K. The tri-clamps are one and a half inches and then the uh, the other front flush versions are, look, are available in a G one half inch. The standard versions, such as this one, is available in a G1 quarter IP67, an MPT 1 quarter inch IP67 version. There's also customized versions that have a PVDF um, connection on them for aggressive acid applications and so forth, primarily used in steel mills. As I mentioned, the display has been improved. It provides a lot of information. You can also program the sensor through these two push buttons uh, or again you can program them through IO Link. You can set the reset and also the set point on the sensors. Um, you can set uh, on and off delay. You can change the units. The units can either be in bar, millibar, or PS, PSI. Um, the display is rotatable up to um, 180 degrees, so if you mount the sensor upside down, you can actually flip the display 180 degrees. You can also rotate the display 320 degrees for better uh, readability. You can see what the minimum value is that the sensor has ever seen, and you can also uh, display what the maximum value is that the sensor has ever experienced. Um, there's also a zero point adjustment and also a measurement value damping built into the sensor now. In addition, you can also display the number of pressure peaks that the sensor has ever experienced since it's been turned on. You can configure the outputs as either a standard on-off type output or you can set it as a window. You can have on delays and off delays up to 50 seconds. Um, again, you can configure the bars. These sensors have the ability to put a password into them. A lot of pressure sensors you take and press the two buttons and hold them for a certain period of time that locks them with these. You can put in a four digit uh, numerical value. The outputs can be completely configured with these sensors. Previously with the first generation you ordered the sensor with a particular output that you needed. Now there are all the output options are built into each sensor so you can set it up as a PNP normally open normally close with a voltage output NPN normally open or normally close with a voltage output uh, PNP with a current output and PN with a current output or you can have it set up with two discrete outputs either PNP or NPN 
You can set the output up to be in a hysteresis mode, so it's basically just on off and you can control the hysteresis uh, and make the sensor as, as tight of adjustment as possible. Or you can set it up in, an, in a window mode, so you set the lower and the upper limits and whenever the sensor goes out of that, it actuates the sensor. Some additional th enhancements that were made to the sensor. Um, we now display the sensor operating hours and also there is a pressure peak counter. So whenever a peak occurs, both positive or negative, it's detected and the sensor keeps track of the number of those. We also uh, monitor the temperature and the sensor is also able to work in SIO mode. So if there's no master on the IO length, then the sensor assumes that it's a standard input output type sensor. For more information on these pressure sensors, visit www.balif.com.